if you are in San Diego looking for cash flow, you're going out to the Midwest. We all know that. And I will be your guide to make sure you save money. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, we are working with Crystal and Edgar, San Diego residents, Leaving California. Who ain't leaving California these days? That place is out of control, man. If it wasn't for the weather, ain't nobody lived there, would they? Now, Crystal and Edgar, the cash flow market you two have focused on is Cleveland. But as has been discussed with you in the past, uh, Cleveland market is very competitive. A lot of people are fleeing California, man. It's... <laughs> Ducks fly south in the winter. <laughs> Americans fly away. They fly east from California when Gavin Newsom and the rest of the commies take over. Man, that state is just a horrible, wretched place. Hell on earth. Anyway, so you guys are trying to flee California with a ton of other people who would like their money to not be stolen from them by their government, right? And that lead you to, led you to the Cleveland market, and it's led a lot of people to the Cleveland market. Uh, so what I've done with you guys, because your financing is not the most attractive of all financing that is out there in the marketplace. So to actually get deals done, we have to be competitive, uh, and we need to focus on stuff other people aren't paying attention to. Because if there's multiple offers on a property and yours ain't the best one, we ain't going to get you the deal, you know? Uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So my job is to think outside of the box and try to take your situation and fit you with the property. And I think I've done so today. I found a property that I believe is being marketed incorrectly that should allow us to sneak in there and score you a deal, even if we don't have the best financing in the world. Let's take a look. Two, please. Welcome back, y'all. Let's pull up the deal, man. The deal. How's about $20,000 and you get yourself a rental property? That's how we can do it with this bad boy right here. 1623 West 18th, Lorraine, Ohio, folks. 85K. I want to pick it up for 80 for you. It's only 20K down. Bank kicks in the other 60, right? This house is nice, right? It's got some uh, upgrades, right? This is what the listing agent said. She said, why rent? I don't know why she would be marketing it to people that would want to buy the house, though, because there's a freaking tenant in there. See, that's why I think we can get a discount, right? Because it's priced very, very well. But you see, she's marketing it all wrong. She's marketing the thing backwards, right? There's two kinds of people that could buy this house. People like you, people who want a rental investment, or people who want to live in the house. Well, she's marketing it backwards to both of them, right? She's taking the property and marketing it to owner-occupants. Well, there's a tenant in there, folks. Owner-occupants ain't going to be interested. She should be marketing it to uh, rental investors, but she's not. She didn't even write the amount the lease is, right? So because of that, I think uh, she's doing it all backwards, not pay attention to the right buyer. That'd be like advertising, like, freaking, I don't know. Like, all right, dude, like, you got, like, the show Matlock, right? They advertise Ben Gay on Matlock, right? Uh, but then you got other shows that young kids watch, and they're advertising vape pens. When I say young kids, I mean young kids but above 18, obviously. You get what I'm saying? You got to know your audience, right? This chick don't know her audience, which is what is going to help us possibly get us a nice little discount. Pick it up for 80. That's my plan. But anyway, still a nice house regardless. Why rent? Three-bedroom ranch has much to offer for the price. Updates. Gas furnace, 2021. Sump pump, 2022. Hot water tank, 2022. Uh, it's in the process of being installed as we speak, okay? Roof was in 20, uh, 2006. That's a total tear-off. Just so you guys know, roofs last about 30 years, right? It's 2022 right now, so that's 2016 is 10, 
four, six, so that's 16 years. So the roof's about half way through its life, right? So like 14, 15 years should be left. Then you'd need to do a new roof, cost on that roof. Small house is probably like six, maybe seven grand, just so you're aware. Updated electrical. Home is currently rented month to month. Would be nice if she put the amount of rent, but don't worry, I tracked that down for you. We'll get into that soon. Appliances and window treatments uh, belong to the tenant. This home also comes with a one-year home warranty for the buyer's peace of mind. Folks, I peel back the curtain on the real estate industry here in this show. It's what I do. I am here to help you guys see through the BS. Now, I know I'm going to ruin future sponsorship opportunities uh, when I tell you this, but look, home warranty companies are garbage. <laughs> home warranty companies are trash, all right? You could take $700, put it on the ground, pee on it, pour gas on it, set it on fire, whatever you want to do. That'd be better than uh, getting a freaking home warranty from one of those shysty home warranty companies. Anyway, uh, so that's not really a benefit. So don't focus on your peace of mind because that is trash, trash. Anyway, uh, we got a couple photos of the house. Uh, it's just a little guy, a little tyke here, okay, a little ranch. We don't have any interior photos, folks. It's tenant occupied. Told you. It's not really being marketed appropriately, number one. Number two, tenants don't like you coming up into their house bugging you. But guess what? I figured out how much the tenant's paying in rent. They're paying eight seventy five, dollars but it's actually below market rent. Shouldn't be a problem once we take over management over the course of the next two lease renewals because they're month to month right now. You wouldn't want to go to market right away because I think that might cause them to move out. And I can guarantee you, no matter what, you're doing a decent amount of turnover work, right? Like, you don't really need to see the inside at this point of the juncture. We will check it out during the home inspection, but I guarantee you it ain't going to be new tenant ready after this person moves out. So it's not that big a deal, right? So market rent is ten seventy five. okay? That's 12900 a year. Tenants month to month. I recommend we go up 100 on the first lease renewal, then the other 100 on the second one. You try to go up too much too fast, you get an unnecessary turn, then you got to pay me to uh, renovate the unit. Don't get me wrong. Pizza shops love selling pizza. A construction company like mine loves selling tenant turnovers, but it's not in your best interest, so we should go slow. Try to keep that booty in your rental house. I don't know why I am singing the show today. This is just horrible. Anyway, let's focus on that market rent, folks. 1075 comes in. That's 12900 for the year. After you factor in the fixed and variable expense estimates with my team handling everything for you, folks, we do the dirty work. Property management maintenance, construction, insurance, insurance anywhere in Ohio. Folks, if you're a landlord, you need a rental property insured in Ohio, hit up my team. We could probably lower your premium. Also, if you own a boat, a car, your kid owns a car, you want me to insure your business, don't fucking call me because I don't want to do any of that. I only insure rental properties. So take your boat, business, or personal home and fuck yourself with it. Anyway, back to the chart. Uh, approximately 6500 is what I believe this house should make for you. Now, as mentioned, I think it's being marketed inappropriately, so I believe I can get you a little discount. I will get in there and fight for you. I believe I can get you the deal for 80 meaning you only put down twenty grand. Bank kicks in 60 long term. It's an 18% cash-on-cash cash return. And Lorraine, Ohio, folks, if you're going to invest in the Cleveland market, don't sleep on Lorraine. I like Lorraine, Ohio. It's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland. Much more landlord-friendly than the city of Cleveland, number one. Number two, little tip for you, they are getting a new naval base built. Two of them, actually. It's going to add like three or 4,000 jobs. So this house has got a lot of upside, nice, safe, safe neighborhood, high C, possibly low B, depending on who is uh, measuring it or what mood I'm in that day, how pissed off I am at uh, the world of property management and tenants that day. And, uh, yeah, I got to say, I like this one. I think this one is quite nice. I think uh, we stand a good chance of getting a discount because of how it's marketed, and I'd love to see you put this one in your portfolio. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.